Those people that you just saw, I don't need permission from them to publish their portraits. Why? Because none of them are real. They were all created by AI using a Generative Adversial Network GAN, a type of machine learning technique that creates a feedback loop of increasingly high quality output. These faces were created on the website thispersondoesnotexist.com. The AI can create people of varying ages, ethnicities, gender, facial expressions, earrings, glasses, etc. Data Grid, a Japanese startup company based out of Kyoto University, have developed an AI system that is capable of smoothly and automatically creating high quality and high resolution 1024 by 1024 photorealistic models of entire people. These are some of their creations. Obviously, there are some real benefits of creating these sort of pictures, at least from an economic standpoint. Websites and catalogues will no longer need to seek people's permission to use their portraits in advertising material or pay costly models, another job lost in the ongoing AI revolution. But also, there is a potentially nefarious outcome. It won't be long until exact replicas of people can be inserted into any situation in a photo, or even into CCTV footage. Imagine if a robbery took place and the only suspect is you. There is video and photographic evidence of you committing the crime, but you didn't do it. It turns out that one of your managers who actually committed the crime created fake CCTV images of you on his laptop. How will police and courts deal with this new wave of fake images and videos? Could this technology be used by bad actors to incriminate completely innocent people? How will we police it? What are your thoughts? Is AI going too far? Should we implement rules to slow its inevitable spread? How will forensic science keep up with photos and videos that are 100% realistic? Are we living in scary times? <laughs>